That was amusing. Luke tried to rip off the face of Inspector Chelmy because in the previous Professor Layton game, Inspector Chelmy was wearing a mask. Yes, there was a fake Inspector Chelmy, otherwise known as Don Paolo. If you want more information, just watch my video walkthrough for Professor Layton and the Curious Village. That's my face, not some piece of chappy. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. I was sure we had another imposter on our hands. What in the world is this child talking about? I swear, young ones these days have no manners. My apologies for the confusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Herschel Leighton. I'm a professor of archaeology at Crescent Hill University. And I'm his apprentice, Luke. Interesting. So if I understand correctly, you keep a child around as an apprentice to you. Not at all, sir. In truth, he's... Professor Layton's apprentice, like I said. Interesting. Well, it's really none of my concern. Yeah, I guess it's not our concern what the relationship between Luke and Layton is. I have a crime scene that needs my attention. Clear a path, will you? We know that Luke has parents, but they're never around. They just let their son wander around with Professor Layton all the time. But of course. Extremely curious. Luke, not a word about that ticket to the authorities, alright? You got it, Professor. Scary, scary. Yes. Oh, heart failure, heart failure, heart failure. Oh, oh, it's okay, everybody. I'm okay. The scaled down model of a Chronosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. I'm good, I'm good. Let's I continue that investigating. Might give anyone nightmares. Here's what probably happened the old fellow turned on a light, took one look at the beast, and then keeled right over. But this is the doctor's own home. With the bones he put up himself, scare him. People have a way of becoming forgetful with age. Not that you'd understand, boy. Well, you're right about that. I don't think I understand it at all. Mr. Layton, was it? No? Ah, yes, Layton. Mr. Layton, what do you think? The scenario you paint certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. But 
Considering the light walked off when we entered the room, I don't think we've found our answer yet. Uh, really? Furthermore, look around you, Inspector. Doesn't anything strike you as odd? What do you mean, Professor? Study your surroundings, Luke. I'm sure you can see it, too. Puzzle number four, a secure room. We're supposed to look around the room and find the suspicious thing that Professor Layton is talking about. The suspicious thing is also an escape route from the room. And it's right over here to the left. Take a look at this. We have a window with a torn curtain. This is the solution to the puzzle. Here goes. Piece of cake. Now, what do you think tore the curtain? Of course, this window is missing a curtain. Hmm, so it is. But what exactly does this have to do with my crime scene? It means someone exited the building through this window, and I'll bet he's our culprit. Alright, so I think the culprit murdered Dr. Schrader, and then escaped through the window using the curtain. I'd say that's a sound theory. Well done, my boy. Oh, uh, yes, sound as a pound. I was just about to propose the same idea myself. Liar! Shh, look, listen. I don't believe our friend the inspector will be of much help to us. What say you and I conduct a little investigation of our own? Professor, look! There's something in Dr. Schrader's hand! It's a photo? It's an old photograph, but it's been torn into so many pieces. I can't make out the original image. Alright, so are we going to have a puzzle where we put the pieces back together? No, okay, instead of having a puzzle, we get a brand new mystery. What is going on with the torn photograph? Hey, what's a big idea? You can't just point evidence in a crime scene. Get your hands off that... That's the... What is this, anyway? Mm, well, then it matters. I'll be holding on to that. Now, out with the boat with you. Ah! Look, we're not done! Alright, so Chelmy kicks us out of the crime scene. Aw, oh, man, and there's no more voice acting. Guess I'm going to have to go back to actually reading what Professor Layton has to say. And what does he have to say? He says it is mysterious that the Elysian box was not found in the apartment. And the ticket is our only lead to the murder of Dr. Schrader, so our heroes decide to take a trip on the Molentary Express. Alright, so we rejoin our heroes here on the Molentary Express, trying to solve the mystery. Professor Layton and Luke sped away from the city, unaware of the secrets that awaited them down those iron tracks.